1.4 was a big patch, 1.5 was an even bigger patch, 1.6 is gonna blow them away. We revolutionized how dynamic gameplay is gonna happen, and now we were able to build a massive zone where we could really play to the strength of our dynamic content. Ember Isle is the ancestral home of the Kalari Elves. It's also the place where Maleforge was imprisoned 1,500 years ago within his lair in the volcano of Carcera. People will get really excited about Ember Isle because it is specifically designed for level 50 players. The sheer variety of things to do, and Guardians and Defiance will have new stories to explore. The Guardians are heading there not quite knowing what to expect of their far clan dwarves, and the Defiance are heading there trying to retake the home of the Kalari. Ember Isle is actually the largest zone we will have ever made, and it is just stunningly beautiful. Ember Isle is a big project. And we're looking at all kinds of weird reference from all different jungles and all different cultures of our history and seeing what we can really do to make this come to life. I think that's the general idea we want players to start feeling, oh, shoot, you know, I've never seen anything like that. The first moment you step onto Ember Isle, it's visually amazing. You look over and you see this enormous volcano and it's got this plume of smoke going miles into the air. And then you start to get involved in the story and you learn more and more about the source wells and people immediately become immersed. And the source wells represent a line to the heart of Talaro. Players will have to defend the source wells from the planes. They allow you to upgrade the defenses in the area around them, and they're the places that you're going to be able to get most of your quests. Uh, Caduceus Rise is the new dungeon. It is the biggest dungeon we've done so far. One of the things we wanted to do was to do a much more non-linear, more exploratory dungeon that would let players pick and choose where they wanted to go and what bosses they wanted to kill. It has 11 bosses in its biggest form. While players are playing the Ember Isle content, they'll be constantly working towards uh, new rewards that we're adding. There are new dailies, new storyline quests, new artifacts, achievements, zone events, you name it, you know, we've, we've got it. One of the things that we've never held back on is a steady stream of new content to our players. We continue to funnel out more content than anybody in the MMO space. We're doing that again with Ember Isle.